Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to go from this algebraic function uh, form into uh, writing the discrete probability distribution in a tabular format. So we're reversing the process. And then we're going to answer these two probability questions. Okay, so let's first draw the table. So what we have is that the probability of x being equal to each of the values is x over 15, where these are the values that we can take. So that is the top row, 1, 3, 4, and 7. Now the bottom row is made up of the actual probabilities. So when x is 1, the probability is 1 over 15. When x is 3, the probability is 3 over 15. When x is 4, the probability is 4 over 15. And then we'll have 7 over 15. And these four probabilities should add up to 1. So 7, 11, 14, 15 over 15. OK? So that's the tabular format. Now, the probability of x being less than 4 is the probability of x equals 1 plus the probability of x equals 3. OK? So those two are the only ones that are less than 4. And so it's equal to 1 over 15 plus 3 over 15, and so it's 4 over 15. Now, what's a little bit more difficult is this part C. OK? Now, these symbols here represent modulus signs, OK? Uh, otherwise referred to as the absolute value. And what effectively they do is that they make every number that was, is within those modulus signs positive. So for example, um, the modulus of minus 2 is just 2. The modulus of 3 is 3. So a positive number remains positive, a negative number becomes positive. So that any answer will always be positive. What does that mean for us? Well, and how does that work with this? So effectively, what we have is that if the modulus, if we just ignore that probability sign, the modulus of x minus 3 is less than 2, means that x minus 3 can range between minus 2 and 2. So it is equivalent to writing this. So x minus 3 is just a number. OK, um, so that any number that is less than 2 has to be between minus, uh, well, larger than minus 2, but less than positive 2. OK, so for example, if this number was 0 0.1, it'd be less than 2. If it was minus 0 0.1, it'd be less than 2. If it was minus 1.98, it would be less than 2, because your modulus sign makes it that positive number. So then, if you're happy with writing it like this, you can then add 3 to each of these three sides. So this is the same as minus 2 plus 3, add 3 to the middle, so we just get x, add 3 to the right, we get 5. So it's actually the probability of x being between 1 and 5. So for us, if it's 1 to 5, not including the endpoints, so we're not including 1, we're definitely not including 7, and so it's these two probabilities added together. So we've got 3 plus 4 is 7 over 15. OK? So just to reiterate on this, OK, because it is not an easy thing to spot. If I just wrote down another one, like uh, x plus 7 is less than 5, then it is equivalent to say that x plus 7 is between minus 5 and positive 5. OK? And then you could take 7 from each side. And then you would wind up with minus 12 is less than x, uh, is less than minus 2. OK? So there is another example of this. 